This episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by McDonald's. If you're a listener of our show, you know we just love our McDonald's. We literally eat McNuggets on our episodes. And we've got some iconic news to share with y'all. The McRib is back right now. Here comes the butt. This is the McRib farewell tour. Girl, what? Don't panic though. You guys know how many bands out there have had approximately 12 farewell tours and they keep coming back, right? Well, that's the case with The McRib. It's a farewell tour for now, but you never know if it's gone for good. So go grab yours now. I'm going to go get one right now. Just remember, get some napkins when you pick up your McRib, not just for the barbecue sauce, but to wipe your tears of McRib grief as well. The McRib farewell tour is happening now at McDonald's. Go get yours. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Chins and Giggles. Episode 34, (laughs) y'all. Bitch, I just had to do it. You always got to say it, huh? (laughs) Always got to say it, girl. 34, mama. Today, we're we're actually, we're actually uh, talking, we're actually hitting a few topics today. So I'm like, okay, I feel like, I feel like last week was a mess, girl. I was like, what's going on? No, we just like, you know, we were like, let's have like a few topics to, you know, just to keep it, you know, keep it busy. Interesting. Keep it interesting. And, you know, but people, people really did like the last episode because they liked how you were so, you know, like it was a huge step for you to talk about how you're excited for the holidays and stuff. So Mm -hmm. I liked it. It was a good episode. Yeah, I still am excited. Nothing has changed. (laughs) Um, I want to start decorating for Christmas already. I don't know if it's too soon. Girl, it's not too soon. It's never too soon, right? I actually feel like everybody this year is decorating. Like everybody on Instagram has been shopping for Christmas decor. And I'm like, I feel like I'm behind because I still have my fucking Halloween shit up. I'm like, girl. I feel like I'm a little behind too. No, same. But um, how's your week been? Let's kick it off what the week was like. Well, my dad's birthday was a couple of days ago. Yeah, my dad's birthday. And we were making tamales yesterday. Yeah, that was fun. Iconic. They, they were tamales. delicious. I'm going to have some after this, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were really good, y'all. Um, mm-hmm. Didn't you, like, eat shit or something this oh, morning? Oh, yeah. Right now, my my butt is throbbing. Like, my left cheek, girl, full-on blueberry. Evaporated. I, I haven't checked it, but I, I, I'm assuming it's, like, really bruised. Because so I had some stuff to do this morning, girl, and I was like walking downstairs with my makeup case. Like I don't even it's not even a makeup bag. It's a freaking makeup case. So I'm like slowly walking downstairs. Okay. And because I was going to do my makeup in the car. girl. And all of a sudden I didn't have my shoes on yet and I have carpet on my stairs. So I'm like walking oh and I slip, Krina. When I tell you, I went like plop, plop, plop. Uh-huh. It reminded me of like the, the story of you falling down the stairs. Oh, on Jasmine's kissing it. Very much that energy. I wasn't there to see it, but it was very like, it was very dramatic. Okay, that happened to me. Ryan like literally ran <gasps> to catch me as he eats shit, almost eats shit, like almost falls of how oh my God. he was like trying to hold me. Yeah. So were you like, because I know you have carpet. Yeah. Do you feel like you got like a rug burn? Like, were you like bouncing down or how? Oh, I it? mean, it wasn't, I don't think it was as dramatic as yours. It was about like four steps. Okay. Cause bitch, I caught like, I, I <laughs> caught you from the top to the bottom. I literally like, I caught flight on that shit. Like, I literally went like from the very top and I, I had this dress with beads on it. So I went down like pop, 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 pop to the very last one. Did it mess your back up a little bit? Mm, for a few weeks, it did. I never went to the chiropractor. My hip is starting to hurt a little bit. And I'm thinking like, I'm going to have to go to the chiropractor, bitch, because I know something. No, I was, I, was <laughs> <fucked up. laughs> I was fucked up for a couple months with that fall, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm shocked. I didn't break a fucking hip or something because I when I tell you I took flight, bitch. I've never fallen down the stairs. That's like my I've worst never year. gone so fast. No, for real. My hip is hurting right now. Let me just reposition myself. I don't oh my know God. what's going on. I think like, I don't know. I don't know how I felt, but like I definitely... A lot of the weight was on my left hip. And like oh when I tell you God. my left cheek, like it feels bruised. Like my left cheek. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna I'm bruise. like, oh, my God, it's going to bruise. You should see a chiropractor because like, bitch, you <laughs> literally like that. Those kind of falls. So, yeah, my, my freaking right now that I'm sitting down, I'm noticing. I'm like, oh, my God. But yeah, I, I was like, this is what I get for being in a rush in the morning. But yeah, it was like my first fall. I was like, good wakey morning. <laughs> good wakey. She woke you the fuck up. She, oh, she woke me up. I was ready to start the day after that, girl. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, my hip is dislocated. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, I was fucked up for like months after that fall, but you'll be fine. No, but like I really, I think I need to check it out because I'm like, and then it, I go to the like, chiropractor. Yeah. 
when I saw that one time, Myra, I remember like I stood up and like I was like whatever, like I was I, like everybody ran inside and, like what happened, and I was like I'm fine because I was drunk. Oh, but I remember no. the next day I couldn't stand up. No, yeah, not to be dramatic, but like I was crying when I felt Karina. <laughs> I was crying of how like I was. It was such a, like a shock, like such a like a. Uh-huh. Uh, it was so intense that I literally like Brian's like, "Are you fine?" And I just started crying. I don't know if it was, I 100 like, percent would have cried if like there wasn't guests over at my house yeah it was one of those moments where i was like i'm fine <laughs> ah! and bitch i, it I got different. rocked that day. it hits different when it's like your bone like i felt like my actual like ass bone like fucking like got rocked. rock like literally got rocked like rock hard like against a fucking stair like pop 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 oh. i was like oh shit <laughs> oh my God. it was it's a lot more dramatic than i'm explaining it i'll tell you that I mean, that's for true. me to have cried girl it was pretty dramatic you need to go get like uh an adjustment because like a whole body adjustment with that oh because your back your neck it could radiate all the way up here all the way tell down me that shit girl i'm like i'm already like stressing about my hip no but just go you and then go. we we usually film in the mornings but we've been all so busy today today oh my god like yeah. there was so much happening today like to get to actually start this podcast today i was like are we gonna be able to film today i was thinking that too i was like we have never missed a week but bitch we might because i was like I this is that. the only day that we could do this because tomorrow we're leaving big bear we're coming to big bear what's up and um we'll get into that too i'm so excited so but cute. literally like uh you know m- we just couldn't do it. Like we we had missing cameras at first because we started taking the camera. I had a camera. You had a camera, and the lights went out earlier. Like we had a full light outage, full blackout, and that was when I was already on my way back. Like this is when Myra's like on her way here, and I'm like, y'all, the lights just went out. We were we were already running behind to get this podcast started all day, mm-hmm. and the lights go out for like two hours, dude. And it was actually saying that the lights were not gonna come back till 11 p.m. Ooh. I was like, bitch, it's not happening. Because tomorrow we have to leave early to Big Bear. So I was like, it's literally not gonna happen. No, but it's it been back. a it's been a long day. I was up since I mean not so early. It was nine a.m. But when you're out, like I, I literally just got back home. Like a girl, I was in LA all day. I don't know something about just like being out of like towards LA. It's just tiring, girl. I'm it's tired. a fucking trip. I hate going to LA because it's literally a whole trip, Myra. It's a whole trip. Like the like drive up us. back over here, I was like. Oh my god! I was there from eleven a.m. till like what six? I was like, girl, and then I got over here. I don't know how I even like got ready. I got ready so fast to come over here. It's a lot. Like when you're in the IE and you go to LA, even if it's just for a meeting, like you will literally. Because I used to go to LA a lot for meetings, and I actually at one point, like if you follow followed my vlogs and stuff for years, or if you followed me for years. And you know that I, I even had a I had an apartment in L.A. at one point because it was fucking ridiculous. Like I was there so often. This is like pre-COVID where there was never like those um calls like Zoom calls. I feel like Zoom really popped off until like COVID came around because now like all meetings are just through that. Yeah. And I feel like now you're like there's so many meetings that could have just been done like with an online call. That but part. like but back then, like every, everything was like meetings in person. But yeah, at one point I was like, I need a fucking apartment out here because like literally just the drive to one meeting and coming back home would take a whole fucking day because the drive back home could be like three hours of traffic. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah, girl, it's crazy. But yeah, that was our. But our luckily, day. the lights did the lights did come back before 11 p.m. It's They're up and running now. I was actually thinking I'm like, it would have been, been really hilarious if they had stopped mid filming. We were the content. Gonna, I'm just kidding. Somebody cut the lights. And well, how the schedule was originally set up, we were going to be filming while the lights went out, but like <laughs> we were behind. So yeah. the lights are fully back now and we're good to go. We're so. good to go. I'm like, you know, the energy's a little low, but Crystal brought us some coffee. Yes. I got the peppermint mocha. So I'm I trying to wake up a little bit. Some creme brulee uh, thing. Here's so, um, uh, these are the holiday cups yep here i'm for just it. excited about the cups girl i'm excited for it i'm just here for it i'm here for like the holiday drinks and all that mm-hmm. here for it gorge mm-hmm. in better news um we're going to big bear that part mm-hmm. and you guys the weather's here today was actually speaking of today it was like really rainy huh well it's actually gonna be snowing when we pull up to big bear what's up so i was a little scared though because at first like I think we had seen that there was going to be like a storm. I was like, oh, my God. I'm still scared because the thing about when you go like to Big Bear and stuff, 
If it's like, you know, drizzling snow, I don't know what the fuck you call when it drizzle when it snows a little bit, like but a, a rain a, a snowstorm? If it no, oh, yeah. you said drizzle. Like if it's just a little bit of snow, like you can go up there right. no issue. A snowstorm when it's like a blizzard, like they will tell you like even if you have chains, you can't oh, come up here. Of course, cuz it'll I mean, be dangerous, dangerous at that point, you know. Yeah. So we're just like, oh my god! So we're actually going with Kulichi Munchies, guys. Kulichi Munchies. Kulichi Munchies. What's ah! up? They're taking um us and some other people to Big Bear, and we're so excited. <sighs> I'm so excited, y'all. Well, by the time you're watching this, we uh will probably be like almost back, or we'll be back by then, huh? Um, well, if you're, they're watching on, well, it's literally like, wait, no, yeah, they're hearing and listening actually. If you're listening, we might just still be in Big Bear, but I'm just thinking, I'm like, are we gonna get stuck in Big Bear? Like, cause it's fully snowing this week. I like, mean, depends how good the trip is. I wouldn't mind it, Gorge. I mean, I wouldn't care. Period. No, I'm. I mean, I don't know. I, I uh, at some point will get homesick, so let's not jinx it. And I'm like, why me? No, me couldn't. Can't. I can't do when I travel more than like three days because I get homesick. Yeah. Okay. I love. I love. Like, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't done a trip in a while. I'm excited. Even if it's just driving to Big Bear. This is why Very I love California. Vibes. This is why I fucking love California, dude. In the IE, like from where we live, like. You want the beach, you drive an hour or so and a half to the beach. You want snow, drive an hour to, to Big Bear. An hour. Or Mountain Baldy's even closer, like an hour. Like, I thought it, Big I love Bear that. was like an hour from here. Big Bear is like only like an hour or something from here. Like not even two hours. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, that's iconic. Like, I love California. You could really, you want, you want beach, you want snow. We, we got it all on this bitch. That's like, true. Yeah. But I haven't been to the snow in forever. I haven't either. Like dead ass. When the and fuck? And they got like a really cute ass cabin. I'm so excited, dude. I'm ready for the cozy vibes, the pictures. Bitch, we don't even. I, honestly, I'm not even sure like who's going yet. But I'm like, I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. I'm so excited. And Mia has never. She's never seen snow. Aww. Ever. But she's seen she's rain. Be so shocked. And it's funny because just, just with rain, Myra, she'll get excited because she doesn't see it often. So when she does, she's like, <gasps> what what's is this? this? You know, she's going to think it's like ice cream on the floor. So she's going to think it's food. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, queen. She's going to fucking thrive. She's going to eat the snow. <laughs> Dude, I don't even like know what I'm wearing. And we leave tomorrow. I got this turtleneck for tomorrow. <laughs> Period. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is all I'm wearing the whole week. I'm just kidding. No, but I got like, I actually got a cute leather jacket. I have another like other stuff at home. I don't have snow boots. I'm just going to wear these that I have on. I'll oh, same. I don't have actual snow boots, dude. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm wearing, though. Like, I dead ass like, I don't know. I just took a couple things, but I literally... <laughs> i'm like bitch i'm just gonna take i don't know what like i might just go through your closet tonight girl because I, I didn't get a lot of stuff because i got jackets and stuff like you know like snow snow jackets or whatever yeah but i'm like are we so doing like outdoor activities like it really depends right what yeah. like on what you're gonna wear because i'm like okay like i have like jumpsuits and stuff that are cute for pictures but i'm like are we going skiing or something first of mm. all bitch i don't know how to ski but mm, i'm not skiing if we're doing any type of outdoor now activities, we might dislocate it <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> i hope not so i'm thinking i'm like if we do any type of outdoor activities i'm like um i don't i'm not prepared for that yeah me either i got a fucking jumper that's like this thin as a paper and a cute puffer and that's it you ready? <laughs> Yeah, like, what activities do you do, you know? We'll see what Kulichi Manchis has planned out, but we're oh! super excited. We'll keep you guys updated, obviously, for On next Instagram, week. Instagram, vlogs. Oh, vlogs, you know. 100%. Stay on the lookout for IG stories, girl. But girl, Big Bear, here we come, girl. We are coming for you. <laughs> we are the storm. I was going to What? Speaking of good news and exciting stuff, the most exciting thing happened this week. You guys, we are finally launching Papa Shinko. So this is um, the the candle business so, we've been talking about. Karina has been like bringing. She's brought it up a few times. In the podcast. If you guys, yeah, if you guys listen to the podcast, then you already know that it was coming. Yeah. Um, Myra had started making candles at home. You know how you were making like your yeah. your candles, and I remember I told Myra I was like that would be so cute, like to like you know like I don't. I think you were making them. No, I think we had okay. So me and Brian, you know, always said. We wanted to do something in his name. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course. To honor him, yeah. To honor him. And we didn't really know what. Um, candles is something huge that people use for their loved ones. Mm -hmm. You know, you light a candle. It's very significant. Mm -hmm. um, 
So it was just something even before we even got the idea of candles. It was something that we would always like do light him a candle. Mm-hmm. I mean, even when he was alive in the NICU, we had like a picture with like mm-hmm. candles on. It was just a thing. Yeah. And I remember you had actually like, you know, you had it, it became like a hobby where you were just making candles in general. Like we started to light looking up for him, into right? it because, yeah, we started looking into it because obviously, you know, it was like an idea that we had. Um, but we've been making candles for months now. Obviously, it's like it's first of all, if you want to start a candle business, it's not just like, oh, I'm going to do one and I'll start tomorrow. No, there's a lot of science behind it. There's a lot of math behind it, a lot of testing. So before we even decided, we had purchased products to like make them. Mm-hmm. And me and Brian realized like how much we loved it, especially with his candle line we make it with so much love and i don't think people understand it's literally just me and brian making them mm-hmm. and i don't know if i would ever even want to want a team because that that loses the magic of making it with love you know what that's how i feel about slime yeah like a lot of times like i sorry a lot of times i think about like how you know like a team and stuff and i'm like of course we have our team to help us pack and stuff but like mm-hmm. slime making like you can't just trust yeah. everybody to make it yeah but go ahead sorry i don't know no, you're fine um, but yeah, we decided to make candles. Oh, why am I going to cry? <laughs> oh. I don't know what is wrong with me. No, there's nothing wrong, Mara. It's a really emotional thing. Like, what is every, Why do we cry in every damn episode? No, but I, I'm, Mara, I couldn't understand. Like, that's Girl, huge. I'm tired. I'm emotional. I don't know what's going on. No, but this is, Mara, this is a beautiful launch. First of all, like, it's, it's such a beautiful thing. Like, you're doing it. Like, this sorry i need to collect my thoughts i understand though because it's such an emotional thing like it's something that you're doing in his name to honor him like how is that not an emotional thing it's huge maya like the fact that like you know like like right now when you get into the names and stuff like they're literally like all candles for that for like yeah it's so beautiful (laughs) sorry i need it's to okay. like collect my emotions really it's quick. okay i i didn't think we would get emotional today either but sometimes just, it just gets there girl i don't know it's just it's exciting bitch it's like, been a day okay okay it's a really emotional thing and i just want to say i'm so proud of y'all gorge <laughs> period <laughs> like i'll try not to cry too <laughs> i'm not gonna cry you know what i'm tired of this tears I'm not and gonna giggles fucking moment cry. I'm, I'm tired not. of it but i had I, I was just so excited for you guys to do this because like I was saying, like you guys have started as a hobby making your own candles. I remember you guys were making candles from Brian Zito, and I was like, Myra, like I know this is obviously like not something you want to hear right now and stuff, but I was like, that would actually be so cute, like and if you made candles in in his honor, you know. And it's funny that you had mentioned that because we, me and Brian, ha- had already talked about that. Yeah, it but, was something um, that like we had already discussed about because we didn't yeah. want to figure out. I mean, ever since I've I you know we lost our baby. I've connected with a lot of mothers. Um, so many people like do these beautiful things that pay tribute to their kids. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it inspired me too. you know, I have a few friends that have started, you know, their little businesses in honor of their kids mm-hmm. that have passed. So it did inspire us. And I mean, it, it, it's something that we wanted to do, obviously, to um, that made us feel good because. I don't think people understand like that's why I was saying earlier like we truly make it with love like it has you're making it's it a, it's an amazing hobby that me and when me and Brian make them like it's just you're you're doing it so oh my god what's wrong with me no Lara don't say what's wrong <laughs> with you like what you're doing it with so much like it's almost like I feel so close to him when I'm doing this because it's for him you know oh, oh my god, my god Lyra. I got And so it, it's really emotional for me because it, it you it's have no idea name. like how much this is for us and we don't even there's no plans for it like i don't know what we're expecting from it it's just something we're doing for him that's all that matters to me that's it oh my god Mario! but <laughs> let me get my tears together girl because it's okay it's okay okay um we took a little break y'all <laughs> she's collected her emotions a little bit it's okay though but uh, yeah this is something that truly means a lot to us uh we and and we are making them you know we're not doing like these crazy amounts of like stock they're made with love literally handmade they're made with love. with love they're handmade um brian's the one that does like the math and the science behind it because that confuses me yeah because people would think like what do you mean is you're just throwing scent in this oh, and that? it's no. like no 
candles are different candles are like calculated you have to yeah. you have to it took do them a lot right. of months for us to really get down like the candles for every single scent you know you add a certain amount of oil in it and get to test it out if it works um with the wicks too you don't want the wicks too small or too big that's when you get like the the like black around the candle or you know it burns faster it just all depends i think like just talking about it i'm just like <sighs> You know, I'm like nervous and everything beating. about it, but yeah, it's made with a lot of love, and you know, he's so you know, Briancito is so proud of y'all, girl, and I know he, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're I know like he, I know he is. He was, no, <laughs> not like that, <laughs> not like that. But you know, you, sometimes you get like little random comments that are so unnecessary, and this is I not, don't get it. This is not for them. It's for him. Yeah, we don't even have to like touch base on that. Some people like it's just crazy how. You could see a grieving mother and then still leave sometimes such unnecessary, stupid comments. Like if they know everything and it's like, like yeah, it's and so, maybe we shouldn't even acknowledge it at all. We shouldn't. Yeah, that's that's all we got to say about that girl. I'm so, um, but yeah, this is all for him. And if I know that I'm making him smile in heaven, then that, I'm just going to keep doing it, girl. <laughs> oh, Myra, girl, the tears. I can't do this. No, because oh my God, truly, my heart. truly, um, this was something it took us a while to do. And Brancito has a way of communicating with us um, if before we had even announced that we were really working on this. My one of my friends and this is um, Brancito's little bestie. I mean, they're literally buried by each other um, mm-hmm. before I even their besties, yeah. met his mom. Um, she had left a gift on his <gasps> grave oh, on yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. And she had gifted me a candle holder that said. There are those who continue to light up the world long after they have gone. And that's why I use that quote on the candles, not on the necessarily the candles, but I use the quote. Um, I have it on the bio of the Instagram because it's true. It's so beautiful. And I remember I was so shocked that she had gifted me that and she had messaged me. She was like, I'm so shocked that one day randomly at night I was on Etsy and I just felt the need to order this for you. Before I had even talked about us wanting to do a candle business. So every time that we would, you know, kind of slack on it, I would remember like this was a sign of Brian Cito being like, yes, mommy, you guys are going the right direction. And he knows yes, about it. Yes, That to me was reassurance that he knows about it and he wants us to do it. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure he's like, finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go in a little detail. So we have like. A little collection. It's the Brian Tito collection. And I know it's like fall right now. I did I did not care at all to launch fall candles. I really, 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 really wanted the first collection to be about him. That's it. I didn't care what season it was coming out. This this candle business is about him. So it was important for me to have all candles of him. And we are going to be launching which we are working on already, the Christmas collection. So that one's like more fun. And I mean, these are beautiful, but that one's more like this we're getting like, into like the, the holiday sense. We're, we're launching with his collection. That part. Well, <laughs> I, I, my, by we, I mean like, I don't mean we, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I'm actually a co-partner. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fucking kidding y'all. I'm dead. Okay. Totally kidding y'all. So we launched, uh, we're launching this Friday november 11th at 11 11 a.m i will kind of explain right now why 11 11 is such a huge significance for us but the first candle is angel baby Mm. angel baby i I love love these candles too they're so cute they actually look really cute just like on your counter they're so fucking cute bitch like they're cute even as like a decor piece. Like it I don't is, even yeah. want to burn my candles because they're yeah. so cute. I did a Q&A over at Papa Shinko and somebody asked if it looks like cute as a decor piece. And I was actually it's like, gorgeous. it actually does. It really does. Um, Angel Baby. And they all say in the bottom, made with love. I love because they are made with love. And can I just say, Myra, that like Myra literally designs all the labels for these. 
Mm-hmm. Especially like I just gotta hint it, like even the Christmas ones you're working on, I'm like, oh, they're so I'm cute. obsessed, Myra. And yeah, it's and that's why I mean, like I know I said Brian does like the whole math and everything formula for them, but like I do a lot of like the designing even, like, and stuff. Me as like your sister, dude. Like at first, I didn't know if you were the one designing them, and when uh-huh. you told me you're like I designed them, I was like, I Myra, designed them. They're so cute. I didn't I didn't know if it was. I didn't you. hire anybody. Yeah, I thought you probably hired a designer because they're that fucking cute. No, yeah. So yeah, Angel Baby. Angel so Baby cute. is like sweet because he's my sweet boy, and it's actually it smells sweet. You smell it before. Yeah. Huh? Can I real quick? Yeah. yeah. She's really cute. So the next one is oh, she my just, sunshine. Sorry. My sunshine. So good. Oh, this one. They all hold a very special place in my heart. First of all, Angel Baby, obviously, because he's my angel baby. My sunshine. <laughs> Here oh, we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. Hold on. I didn't really need to. So when I was even pregnant with him, there's this song that's called My Sunshine. A Mm -hmm. lot of people dedicated to their babies. Mm -hmm. And you you guys know the lyrics like, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray, blah, blah, blah. So that song like stuck to me. I played it a lot for him, even when he was in the NICU. I'm it. I still play it a lot when I feel sad. I just play it to him. I sing it to him. So I remember at one point it was a really triggering song too. Oh yeah. At some point, and it, it still is, you know, if I hear it, especially on TikTok, a lot of people use that sound for their babies. And I, you know, it's, it's triggering. It's just like whenever I feel ready to like play it to him and stuff. But obviously it was so significant. Yeah. Significant that I had to have my sunshine on a candle. It was something so I even cute. dedicated that song. I dedicated it to him even before, like when I was pregnant, you know? Yes. Yeah. So uh, smell her. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Okay. So I mean, my I sunshine, smelled, I smelled them all. my sunshine is more a pe- like it's a peony scent. I love it. And it just made sense for my sunshine. We know? literally, like, I've I smelled about, them like, all a garden. We've literally tested these out at the warehouse and stuff. Yeah. Like I've smelled all of them. They smell amazing. Yeah. Um, last but not least is eleven eleven. Oh. And I got a lot of questions asked, what is the significance with that number? Because I even did the reveal at eleven eleven AM, launching at eleven eleven AM, November eleventh. Um, so I truly believe that, you know, your loved ones have a way of showing you signs. And I'm talking from like maybe like a couple days after his passing, he has showed us 11, 11. I mean, I could be having a bad I day. I see it a lot too. My family started seeing it so much. Mm-hmm. I've had like a Luis, lot. Luis the other day, he was driving by my house in the freeway. And he said randomly, he felt the urge to look at his phone and it was 11, 11. I see it so much more recently, like yeah. so much that like it started to catch my attention. And I'm like, and I'll even acknowledge in my head, I'm like, you're showing me this a lot. I know it's him, Karina, because I started seeing it so much after after yeah. he passed. I remember one day, like me and Brian, it was like, it was I was going to say 9 a.m. It was around like, obviously, 11 a.m. And we were just talking. I was having coffee and I was telling Brian, I'm like, it's so crazy how he's just so good at giving us signs. It's also an angel number, of course. Too, it's you know? an angel, angel number. But I remember that morning... I was like, we were just like really like talking about like, wow, it's so amazing how loved ones really like they really go above and beyond to give you signs. And I remember that moment I looked over and it was 11, 11 a.m. I think that was the first time I caught on to it where I was like, whoa. And, and ever since then, I see it so much. I see it not just on the clock. I see it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Or I see like one, 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 like three you know three ones yeah but 11 11 is just such a huge significance it's huge, i could yeah. be having a bad day and i see it i literally will start crying i mean it's people don't understand the significance i have for it people a lot of people you know connect with their loved ones with like butterflies or flowers for me it's, it's 11 number. 11 mm-hmm. that for me is that and i feel like it's like that like like even with family yeah like how people will tell you like i started seeing it everywhere like i feel like i see it a lot now too yeah 11 11 smells like um literally the the description is like a mimosa, you know, like champagne vibes. Oh, and I just thought you it know what it actually, smells like? It actually smells a lot like a, a specific candle from Bath and Body Works. I think it's called Champagne Toast. It smells I think like that champagne was like the toast. Inspir- the inspo because eleven eleven also it's like very like make a wish, you know. So it kind of just clicked with that scent. It literally smells like champagne toast. Yeah, there's another one too. Or no, I'm just kidding. It's probably like 
some that you're like working on but i remember smelling another one and i was like this smells like one of my favorite candles oh i think it was i forgot girl but no yeah that was a, I, I, she probably didn't make it on the connection girl <laughs> well she should bitch <laughs> and like, you're girl. like she she better launch next okay so that yeah that's our uh three candles and we're excited 11 yeah. 11 a.m on 11 11 november 11 guys yeah 11 11 november 11th yeah the day that this goes up on youtube they're live yeah and i told myra i was like i think these are gonna do so good like mm. oh my gosh i mean whatever happens to it like i said i don't we're not expecting anything crazy from it we're just making them and also like you're gonna sell out Myra. we are doing them ourselves so just give us patience you guys obviously if they do sell out they're gonna sell out we're going they to are. try to restock obviously like it's just that we're making them so yeah I'm super excited, I'm so excited and I just, it's a huge step. It's a huge, I mean, it's just so huge and it's for so us. Like, honestly, it's so refreshing too, like to see you guys. Like, I feel like there was a time where like, <laughs> here we go again. Here the tears go. No, I feel like there was a time where like, you guys were like, obviously like, wait, really, really like, you know, like the hardest times. And I feel like all we wanted was to like, see you guys like, <laughs> yep <laughs> hold on <again. laughs> i feel like all we wanted for some time was just like like to even see you guys just like be involved in family activities and stuff was it was nice seeing that and now like i go to the warehouse and like we work on like slime and stuff and i'll see you guys like pull up and you guys will be working on your candles and stuff mm -hmm. and like i literally I'll, like i'll think about it i'm just sorry <laughs> i'm cringing man. i'll just I'll, I'll just be like oh my god like they're like you guys are like having fun and stuff we're and i'm so like, oh excited for yeah it. and I you guys will brian be, yeah we've you know we've had you know the makeup line chins and giggles you know projects that we do and this and is you the could most, tell that you guys are so involved like, one that i'm so excited and involved in not that i'm not involved in any other one no i know but this is the one where i told brian i'm like i can never see myself like getting how do i say it i could never see myself just like feeling overwhelmed of it you guys like that's what i'm saying like you guys look like you're having fun with it i love it you guys are literally thriving like making them like if, each one yeah if i had just done candles just to do candles it wouldn't be the same i think you should literally show a vlog myra of how you guys yeah i do them because a day in our life because it's so amazing how like they're literally handmade and like yeah. you guys literally put your all into each candle. Oh, that's also another thing I wanted to mention. So they are 10.5 ounces. Mm -hmm. They are um, a coconut blend. They are eco-friendly. They are um, non-toxic because a lot of candles, you know, they are toxic. They are. You know, oh, a shoot. Lot of, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So when it came to for us to making it we had to like really look at like the type of waxes there was oh there's quality too huh with waxes there's different waxes yeah do you think like the waxes the quality of the waxes have to do with like how good they smell too and stuff like that or i feel like i don't know yeah. like about like, i think certain certain waxes can help like the scent be really strong but also they are very toxic oh yeah. shit no way a lot of big businesses are like the candles are very they're known to be really toxic <gasps> yeah oh shit so it was important for us to you know do something that wasn't i mean, I mean myra this is you see this and you're like this is something i would buy like at like uh like whatever it's my favorite decor store i don't know you know like those kind of stores like mm -hmm. home goods and stuff like yeah that. I, I i i did consider because i'm a huge home decor person I consider like candles because nice. I want to say right now that me and Karina, even prior to this, I've honestly never thought about doing a candle business up until this point. Yeah. But me and Karina have been huge candle fanatics. Our whole family knows it. We are doing me and Karina, like for as long as I could remember, we'll be going off with the I fall feel like candles, you the winter like, candles. Yeah, like it, it's funny because whenever I smell a house that smells good, like candles, I'm like, it smells like Myra's house. <laughs> Like, I see you as, like, a candle person, period. Yeah. So I know? never thought I would, like, actually do candles. Mm -hmm. But it's just, like, a plus that I'm obsessed with candles. Yeah. And, I, and I'm and i a huge fan of, like, candles that smell. Like, when you open the lid and it's, like, yeah, you're a boom, big candle. smacks uh, you in the face. A big candle, bitch. You're a big candle person. <laughs> you're a big candle girl. What is that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's a big candle like, girl. Like, in size. Like, why right? are you? Like, what is the reason? Girl, <laughs> bye. Search crying. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, no. No. <laughs> 
We love candles. <laughs> no, but yeah. So because we, you know, I, I've always loved candles. I, I definitely feel like I know, like, you know, when it comes to candles, I always like to buy the really cute aesthetic ones. You definitely like, know aesthetic, bitch. Like, I, I really like I think about, OK, is this going to look cute when it's off and I'm not burning it? Yeah, you know what I mean? True. So things like that. And then with the scents, too, I love like when you open a candle and it's like, oh, my God, it's like there, you know, I need to get smacked in the face. With yeah, that I'm very scent. that vibe. But I also did consider that not everybody likes those like smack in the face scents. So, you know, what's funny? Speaking you know, of there's that? a couple there. Like with slime, I love I because I love candles and I like the the candles that like penetrate the room and mm-hmm. it smells like fucking pumpkins and shit. You know, mm-hmm. like I love those kind of scents. And uh, some people are like more sensitive to that and they'll get headaches. And mm-hmm. some people tell me with slime, they'll be like, sometimes a complaint will be they Here's smell too stuff. much. And I'm like, that's what I like. <laughs> Maybe I should cater to it. It's like okay, it's too, Bath and Body Works. Like that was, I love them. That was kind of my inspo. I love Bath and Body Works. We use different they smack wax, you in the face. but so they are very like smack you in the face energy. But I did consider. Um, I want to say one of those. One of these is a little more subtle. You know, you guys will get to smell them. Um, I I consider the people that don't like them too strong. You know what I mean? You know. So I mean? you have options for both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't want them to all just be like mm-hmm. boom. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. But yes, that's the candle collection. Oh my gosh. Guys, go get yours. Yeah. I'm go excited. Yours. And if, if um, you know, I, I don't really don't know how it will be, but we're going to constantly make them. I was so. about to say, when's the restock? Because I think I could see them like doing pretty well. I, I don't oh. know. I think we're just going to re- keep making them. I love that. But yeah, that's, that's so Papa exciting. Co. Oh, also, I know we're talking about it a lot. No, but, no, no, you're fine. Go off. Uh, but uh, name? people have asked like the name you know Briancito we call Briancito Briancito all the time so Papa Shinko uh, Papa Sh- is actually one of his nicknames Papa Briancito Sh- and Papa Sh- um, Sh- Briancito came about like when we talk about him like as a third person where we're like oh Briancito did this or Briancito this Briancito that what we called Briancito we would be like Papa Sh- like Papa Sh- like that mm-hmm. that's like to us calling him that yeah you call them that yeah so that's like when we speak of him, we say Briancito, but like people don't realize that when like, you spoke to him, when I spoke to him, it was either Papas Papas. or Papas. Like Papas was more like the cutting like Papas, you know, Papas. Oh, yeah. spoke to him like that all the time. So yes. I thought it was cute. And then also because he was starting his little candle business, me and Brian have like a whole character for him. Because <laughs> he's and starting his saying, little candle business. That's li- so cute. Literally, like me and Brian picture him with his little apron that says Papa Shinko. That's so cute. He is, he is making candles with his little best friend. Yeah. That's so adorable. Very that vibe. So for when sure. it came to the candles, me and Brian would always say like, oh my God, Briancito, not Briancito, like having his little company. That's so cute. And a lot of people use like the co like I think that's something company. so cute. Like it, it's something that like when people do start businesses after a loved one like that, I'm like, I think that's so beautiful. I love it. I think it's so, it's such a nice way to honor them and like to be so proud of that. Like I, I think that's so beautiful. And it's a lot harder than it looks. Like, of course, you know, it's, it's not the, I mean, it's, you're doing something that, you know, it came from something so terrible. Mm-hmm. So it's you know? not easy. So it's not it's not easy. It it does make me kind of sad. You know, I think about it, I'm like, wow, this something so beautiful came from, from something, something so, so tra- tragic in our life. Yeah. You know? Uh but yeah, Papa Shenko, there it is, you guys. And he that's why we named it Papa Shenko, because we're like at some point joking, like, oh, he has his own little company, you know. I'm so excited, even like, you know. Not just as his aunt, I'm so proud of him, <laughs> but as like a fall fanatic, I'm just like, oh my gosh, Myra, I already told Myra, like, girl, I'm going to need restocks, personal ones yeah. every week. I'm just kidding. And, and they're not fall candles, y'all, yeah, but, um, but they smell really good. But they, like I said, this is all just like dedicated to him, but we are coming out with winter, winter candles, you know, holiday candles. So we're excited for that. Stay tuned. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, they smell amazing, girl. We're so proud of (laughs) y'all. Yeah, we're super excited. I think we could say we as in everybody you're watching is super proud of y'all. Queens. Yeah, we're super excited. So let's switch it up a little bit, girl. Have you watched the Selena documentary? I did. (laughs) Not me asking you when we watched it together, girl. We literally watched it together. (laughs) I literally came over. Karina was like, do you want to watch the documentary? I was like, absolutely. I actually thought it was like seasons, like episodes. 
Oh, you thought it was a show. So when we watched it and it ended like so quick, I was like, wait, it could have been longer, huh? It, I thought it was like a season with episodes. It's so good, though. It's really, really good. So I hope let's get like, into it a little bit. I hope there's like a second part or something. I don't know. There's got to be. Like a documentary and you just document. Well, it was docu... It, I mean, it was a few years documented. It started in 2016, right? They started filming it. Mm-hmm. From 2016 to 2022, it was like yeah. footage that they had in that documentary. So if you guys want to actually watch um, the Selena Gomez documentary, you Highly can recommend. watch it on Apple Apple TV. Apple TV. Yes. And I heard it's actually free, right? I believe so. I don't know, girl. I just told her, I was like, we should watch it. And he put it on. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but. But it's such a good documentary, y'all. Like, it's so good. It's, um, she dives in a lot. You know what? I just feel like I got to know her a lot through that documentary. Mm-hmm. And like. I obviously know about Selena Gomez. She's a queen. She's an icon and everything. But I've never like followed her like that or like known about like personal struggles like that. I knew she had, I knew about her, her lupus because, you know, of course I had heard about the transplant and all that stuff, the donor and all that. I had knew about all that. Didn't know details. Mm -hmm. Didn't know about like her mental health. Yeah. So she dives a lot into like her mental health and basically like the real her and like her struggles, like with growing up and being famous, working so little starting acting for the moment she was like seven years old right Mm -hmm. she goes into how you know she's bipolar yeah she was diagnosed with that and i was telling korean i'm like i don't know like obviously it's a lot for someone that starts a career at seven years old yeah it's It's crazy i feel like i was telling karina when we were watching this i'm like i can't even imagine to be a celebrity like what they live how it is I mean, already, I okay, like, already, like, well, you know, we just do fucking YouTube. We're on social media. Like, We're definitely, just, like, Z-list past, literally does not even on the scale. Not even compare, but, you know, a lot of influencers will agree that it could be very, like, how do I say it? There's a word for it. When you... When you burn out. When you, you have a burnout, yeah. Every, or you feel maybe uninspired. Maybe you might even burnout. go into some depression, you know, I don't because know. being online, yeah, it does come with, deal a, lot with a lot of criticism. Yeah. And it sounds stupid. It, like, it does. When you just say it like that, it does sound stupid because you're like, oh, well, you put yourself out there and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm-hmm. What everybody will say. But at the end of the day, like, no matter what, no matter what you do, you know, that's a human being, no exactly. matter what. So, like, you know, and I tell Myra, I'm like, you know, it's crazy because sometimes you could get overwhelmed with stuff. Yes. And we're like trash, obviously, compared to these celebrities. Yeah. Like, we're fucking nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but even then, the little hate that you do get or that we do get just sometimes could consume our days. A hundred percent. Or make us feel, you know, when people are criticizing us and nitpicking everything, we also like start to believe it and, you know, things like that. Yes. Now, I try to picture, like, a celebrity that can't even walk outside their door because immediately there's a bunch of cameras following them and yeah. flashing in their faces. And I'm like, that has to drive you, like, insane. Yeah, like, literally. dead ass. Yeah, literally. So, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of celebrities, they they all kind of go through the same, you know. From the moment you're a child, too. I feel like when people are, like, they grow up in fame or, like, mm-hmm. her since she was seven, she's been an actress. I actually wonder, like, how how do you think? Like, like how does their mind work mm-hmm. when your whole life you've been accustomed to fame? Mm-hmm. And where you can't even say, like, I feel normal because you've never been normal. Mm-hmm. Of course, you're normal. Deep down, you're a human being. You think, like, just like everybody else. We actually have so much more in common with celebrities than we think we do because we all, aside from the status, like, we're all similar, you know? I mean, her being on tour, how she had to cancel her tour. She canceled on day f- on tour date 55. Think about tours. They are on tour every single day, maybe like a day or two off out of the week. And that's just not like, oh, I'm going to go. No, you're traveling. You're flying like it, that alone. Flying is exhausting. Honestly, Can you yeah. imagine performing a whole show over and over every single like day. When I wouldn't even get past the third day. And yeah, she got to the point that she was on day 55. I'm like 55. Hot damn. Like and yeah, she she had to she had to stop like she canceled the rest of the tour because she As went into she an episode right she said that yes. like that her family says or her friends people around her that were working with her said that like at one point like they were staring into her eyes and it wasn't her anymore mm-hmm. and they had to cancel the tour because it was just and that's when she gets checked into the 
a mental hospital. And she says that was like huge too. Mm-hmm. Mental health. It's so crazy because you could meet somebody and not have any clue uh-huh. what they're going through mentally. And that's so sad, dude. Like yeah. mental health is so, so important. Like, and I love how she's so passionate about it. I love it. The fact that she met with a president mm-hmm. to try to, um, implement it in schools and stuff like therapy and stuff like that i'm like dude she's like really trying <coughs> and a lot of people could you know she was very very vulnerable to put those things out there yeah because when you watch this documentary <clears throat> um you know she's she has a bipolar disorder and she talks about she got, she got she got diagnosed with it and stuff and when you do see her like you know like snap a little bit or maybe come off rude here and there and stuff yeah you really think about it and you're like, oh my gosh, like for her to like put that out there, like she really had to put her walls down because she put that out there and was like, I'm probably going to get judged for this. I sound rude here. You know, like, yeah, there's a few instances where if you didn't know her condition or you didn't know her mental state, you would be like, oh shoot, that was a little rude. Mm -hmm. But like, you don't know what someone's going through. Like, yeah, literally like the, the Raquel girl. Her oh friend. my god raquel oh that my god girl. raquel okay, so before i even watched the documentary she was getting dragged through the mud and on i was TikTok, like who huh? is this girl like i at first i was like is why she is her- so rude to her who I raquel thought, yeah i thought i thought you thought why is raquel rude to selena yeah 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 i was oh. like why is she like the way she i don't know because you know tiktok be like like you know getting the parts of like someone looking bad and stuff uh-huh. and that's when you said you're like oh you know there's some parts where selena might not look like the best okay <coughs> so raquel i don't it's another girl that comes out in the documentary if you haven't watched it she appears to be her friend at first i was like she her assistant a friend i don't know who exactly she is in her life but raquel is with selena a lot mm-hmm. in the documentary but she'll make sometimes like faces or people i caught on to it i was like she'll make like random faces like if selena's having a breakdown or if she's like having a moment where you know she gets frustrated you could tell her friend like she'll just make faces where she (laughs) kind of like looks a little annoyed sometimes and not understanding like she came off a little rude sometimes yeah and then you know we were talking about it like we you you never know like you know selena does say that she has bipolar disorder you know you don't know what it's like to also be with her 24 7 well even selena mentioned she said that she always apologizes to her friends and family because she does recognize that sometimes she's really mean for no reason. And she does say it on the show. She's like, I have apologized, especially a lot to her, to her mom and her stepdad, because she recognizes that she could be so mean for no reason and say things that are like, and she'll remember certain things she says that she's like, I was out of line for that. Yeah. Like Raquel, like people are coming at her on Twitter. I mean, I'm sure Twitter too, but TikTok and stuff. And I'm like, Oh yeah, definitely. She definitely makes faces here and there, which You know, she doesn't seem like she's very understanding sometimes. But then also I try to think about it and I'm like, you know, dealing with a person constantly who does have like their um, bipolar disorder. Like I could understand how that sometimes could be like, yeah, you know, my gosh, you know, you never be overwhelmed too with all of it. Yeah, it could be overwhelming too, like being around it. But like, I'm sure it's really overwhelming for Selena as well. So it's like just, you know, Mm -hmm like learning to understand them and stuff but i mean i could i could understand another thing i saw on tiktok was of francia her friend she's the one that you know donated her kidney to her francia was the one that donated her kidney to her yeah so she wasn't mentioned at all in this documentary she wasn't in it huh she wasn't in it at all maybe they don't talk anymore and i think they don't because she unfollowed selena no she unfollowed her Francia and I and think follow Selena Gomez. Yeah, and Selena actually spoke up about it. She's like, I'm sorry that I didn't mention every single friend I have like on the documentary. She spoke up about her unfollowing her. I think so. Yeah, somebody had mentioned it, and she's like, because people were saying you didn't mention like her at all, and she made a comment like, sorry that I didn't mention every single person I know in the documentary, and the comments were like, I mean, she's not just any person. She saved your life. <sighs> yeah. Oh my so. god! You know what? I didn't think about it when I was watching it, but she did not mention her at all. She didn't. For it to be from 2016, the footage, I feel like that the the kidney transplant was such a huge part of her life. It is a little odd that it was not brought up at all, considering that we that she you know 
it is brought up like her lupus is brought up and like all that which she doesn't have to bring her up but yeah like you have to but i but it's a documentary as an outsider i would naturally think like oh you guys are probably like besties if she gave you a kidney 100 percent Oh my god! That's I mean, hard. for me to like donate a kidney to somebody, I mean, it's hard because for a sibling, I would do it, no questions asked, no question. If a friend asked me, I mean, even I, I wouldn't even know how to say it, but I would be like, "This is something I really have to think about." Yeah. So it makes me think like how strong their bond was for them to not now be friends. It is kind of like a shitty situation. It that is. Sucks, dude. Um, and I want to play this because I was really TikTok, shocked last right? night. I was like, yeah, this is from TikTok. I was like, oh my God. So this is Francia. I did panic. I did panic. When I found out I was a match, it wasn't the way I expected. One day I got a phone call from Selena, a FaceTime, and she's like, for a match. And I'm like, ah, yay. <laughs> what? How do you know this? I had a way that I wanted to tell her when I made the decision. I knew I was going to happen. I just knew that time. Like, it's, it's a big thing. So I hang up and I call my social worker and I'm angry. And she told me it's going to be hard. The recipient is going to glow and she's going to recover a lot faster than the donor is because she's receiving something she needs. You're losing something you don't need to lose. It's going to be hard. And it was very hard. That part. So for me, it was like, um, oh. it kind of comes across as I wasn't given. First of all, the doctor never called her first that she was a match. And I- legally, is that the even- donor needs to know before the recipient. Yeah. So she even says, and she says, she's like, I you knew I was going to do it, but I wanted to also think about it. That to me shows me that this is crazy because that's a conversation you probably had with her. And, and you're like, you know, maybe she was like, she considered it. Yes. And didn't really like know if she was going to go through with it fully. Yeah. But for her to not know first or even have time to think about it, that's fucked up. Yeah. Because, and you know what's crazy, Mara? It's very likely that because of her status that she had access to that information. Mm. When usually the donor would know 100% before the recipient. So it's, it's kind of hard because obviously, you know, once selena knows that they're a match like also who knows maybe she was very sure that she was gonna do it right mm-hmm. the way it came across to me was you know it was a thought i mean look at the way she's talking about it how she was like oh yay yeah i don't know how I, I don't know girl so i was like i, I was kind of like oh my god so for me it came across like she felt pressured she felt pressured because she now selena knows i mean how are you gonna tell your friend like oh well i'm not gonna I, i'm not gonna give you that kidney that's gonna save your life that's really fucking hard. you know what i mean and it's hard because you know i mean i love my friends if y'all are listening to this but i would have to think about it i'm sorry i'm just saying i love my friends to death but i'm saving the kidney just in case my family or my kids need it or my parents you or know? in case you need it too what if something happens to you that you need that extra kidney my god that's so true i mean look at selena i mean what if she had donated her kidney earlier to somebody or one of her friends and oh now she her only kidney that she has is failing oh my god you gotta think about all of that and of course your family i mean for my siblings i would not even think about it my but when it comes to my friends i love my friends but it would take me a lot to really do it you could have you know it's because that's so hard i feel like especially like donating um, which is so amazing that she donated it to her and you know what and we're all happy she did because it was a big thing in selena's life and we're all happy to see her thriving oh, of, of course. course of course you know like of course um but yeah like i think about it and i'm like i'm like my kidneys are reserved for my family yeah and it's just horrible like how it ended they're clearly not friends anymore that has to be so awkward that is so awkward that has to be so knowing that like fuck i don't talk to this girl anymore but she got my kidney like she's good because she got my kidney like that's crazy that's fucking awkward that's a little crazy and obviously like that's not something to like tell somebody well well, we have my kidney but like and being you know realistic, what? looking at the big picture, like, girl, what the fuck happened for y'all to really not talk anymore? And you know why I wouldn't, not just as like a recipient, a donor, I feel like I wouldn't ask a friend for a kidney or give a friend a kidney because I feel like there would just be that like, not tension, but it would be like that thing like, oh, I give you a kidney or like you gave me a kidney. So now I have to like 
treat give you special treatment because you gave me a kidney or like vice versa yeah and you just never know like you just never you know you never gonna know go. what's gonna happen to the friendship you, i mean even if you have those friends that you you love maybe you them. love and maybe nothing would ever 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 happen between you guys i mean it's just like it's a it's a whole organ it's hard i mean some people might be like well y'all ain't fucking friends like you you like it's crazy how you had to, she had to go like under surgery for that to get like yeah. the organ removed. I mean, stuff. I mean, the, the great thing is that Selena's fine and it's amazing, you know, yeah. it's incredible because you know, anyone that donates any type of organ is huge respect to you. I think we're talking mainly about the situation. Like they fought clearly. They're not friends. That's awkward. If I want to ask you, if you donated your, your kidney to somebody and they had a documentary that was a very personal thing. And they talk about, you know, their struggles and they get very, very vulnerable and talk about the most vulnerable things in their life. But they don't talk about you giving them a I kidney. Wouldn't, How would you feel? I wouldn't really care about it. I think the part is that they, they're they not friends and that just adds to it. But she unfollowed her recently, right? And I and I, I got to say, I think it's because she saw the documentary. and She was probably like, last straw. Think- last straw she was probably thinking that, that was her last straw i think but i don't think there were friends prior to that i think there was already some tension and that was like it for her but then also it all goes back to you know maybe it had to do with like her disorder and her friend didn't know how to handle the disorder and then maybe that caused tension on its own because selena like is a kind of say that like it's it's messed up a lot of her relationships in her life because she yeah. was diagnosed with being bipolar so could it could be. do with that. I mean, who knows, dude? But like, and also we don't know if her friend was part of the documentary where she saw it being filmed and she was like, y'all didn't show any of this that we filmed. Who knows? Because that could have been the reason. But also she doesn't have to like, she definitely doesn't show have to. her. But I think it's the, the, the fact that they're not friends anymore. That just makes it so freaking awkward. Like if my friend donated an organ to me and we're not friends anymore, like, do I even at the end of the day want your organ in me? Like it wouldn't be cool. <laughs> Girl. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> not, not you being that petty. Take the shit out. I'm just gonna you know what I mean? No. Like, of course it Yes, it's saving your life. It's I first of all, I have a lot of respect for people that are organ donors. That's something amazing. You are saving people's lives. That's a beautiful thing. It's a lot. It's just a little crazy when you become enemies to the person that gave you an organ. It's a little crazy uh, to it, me. Like so this is this is obviously public because I mean she responded to it she unfollowed her, that's and crazy. that's what people were saying like this is not just any of your friends this girl like played a huge role in saving your life, that's what's crazy <laughs> I don't know y'all and I, I just want to say we're not like on anyone's side like we love Selena girl we were f- dude I literally you were watching it and there were so many moments that I was like if I was watching this alone I'd be in tears but because I'm watching it with my family like I don't want to start bursting into tears yeah. did you feel that, that way too? Was the moments where I was like oh it was so beautiful it was like so beautiful I, I I honestly grew a lot of respect for Selena from that documentary and there was a lot of times where I wanted to cry but I was like my whole family mm. sitting here is a lot it was so beautiful Aww. though it was so beautiful Myra yeah but it's, yeah I love that they touch a lot about um you know mm-hmm mental health and all mental that health. i love how she talked about that she talked about lupus it. she went into detail about that her daily yeah. life how she's in pain and, and it's all so that. hard for a celebrity i mean you don't see celebrities talking about their mental health mm-hmm. i love when people talk about how their life really is going because it makes you think like you're not alone i feel like everybody at some point has struggled with their mental health mm-hmm. i like you see people's pages you see people's lives everything looks so perfect mm-hmm. it's like do you have like any type of worry in your life like do you and and the reality is that every single person does deals with their own stuff. But I love when people actually normalize it. So we I all really can feel like, like oh, well, I'm not the only one that has like these issues. Like, we're, I mean, I'm very open about like, you know, my depression, my anxiety and all that. So I love seeing that. It's it just normalizes it. it it's relatable. It's relatable. It's something that not a lot of people talk about. People want to like literally. It makes you appear human it's because we yeah. watch the celebrities and we just see them like not just celebrities i mean anybody people's course. lives on social media course, are yeah. so they're so fake so fucking fake yeah i mean of let's course. keep it 100 i mean myra like think about like when you're having a bad day like like you don't post like i'm in bed crying today like nobody yeah. does that you know you post the good things i could have a really shitty day and i have a funny story to post on night i'm gonna post it even like if i wasn't crying 20 minutes ago yeah you know what i mean like 
you're gonna show what you want to show you i think people should start normal and i think that's why I, what i loved about her that she's normalizing it i think people should, people should start normalizing talking if they're talking about their fucking horrible day they had a horrible day period uh, you know i love it sure i really like for it, it. Yeah. yeah, it was incredible. Oh my god, did you see how? Well, obviously you saw how how she was talking about how she used to have a huge crush on Cole and Dylan Sprouse, the oh. Zach and Cody. Really, she, Myra, girl, you were right there watching it with me, girl. You was know, this the part where you on your phone? I, <laughs> I'm that person. <laughs> there was a part where Myra was on her phone for like five minutes, and I was like, there, and there was like some good shit happening. Mm. And it was that she was showing the closet because she visited her old house and there was a closet where she wrote like she was like obsessed with Cody and it like said Cody and Cody and Selena from Zach and Cody from Zach and Cody. She was obsessed with them. Like and she and I'm sure he's thinking now, like, why didn't you tell me she had a huge crush on on him? And she didn't. He didn't know. He she he well, probably didn't he know. Does. Yeah. What? Well, that's not funny Wait, now I want to just Google like what they're doing. Right. I'm thinking like, I wonder what he's thinking now. Are like they married with kids and stuff. That's crazy. Zach and Cody yeah zach and cody are so attractive i searched them are up they? after i searched them i mean i had seen cody like recently like when he like did the whole thing where his ass was showing on that picture like why am i ago. not on the loop of any of this i don't know but they are so attractive girl actually looking back i used to have a huge crush on them too i remember having like a little dream about um i think it was dylan sprouts mm. and i remember i literally had a dream about him and that's how the crush developed but they were they they're so handsome right now too. Oh wow! Right? I'm like I don't even. I think back then I thought Cody was cuter, and now I'm like, sheesh! I don't know who's cuter now, girl. Dylan mm. is like a queen. They look the same. They're so handsome, huh? They look the same as they were when they were. They're kids. literally like, yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But I th- I just thought that was really cute how she was open about how she used to have like crushes on them and stuff. It's so cute. What a queen! Wow. But um, oh my gosh. On other news, There's Aaron a lot of news. Carter, Aaron Carter passed away. He actually passed away this past Saturday. I wanted mm-hmm. to read, um, you know, an article on like, you know, just because, you know. Um, so Aaron Carter, a former child pop singer and younger brother of Backstreet Boys, Nick Carter, has died. A source close to the family told CNN he was 34 years old. Oh a God. spokesperson for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department told CNN CNN, they responded to a call for help at Carter's Lancaster, California home on Saturday morning around 11 a.m. local time, where a deceased person was found at the scene. He he was found dead in his bathtub. So, of course, with that, it's going to come speculation and stuff. Mm -hmm. But Aaron Carter, listen, I know he was like a pop star and stuff, but I feel like when we were growing up, I didn't, I feel like we were in the age where like we saw him on Lindsay McGuire and on Disney Channel and stuff, but I, yeah. I, I wasn't like a huge fan of like his songs and stuff. Cause I feel like we were a little younger. Hmm. So like we saw him on those shows. Do you remember when he came out on Lindsay McGuire? I want candy. That's crazy. That, that's yeah. literally how I, I discovered him. Hmm. And I remember yeah. he came out on Hannah Montana at 1.2. He came out on a few, he made a few appearances on Disney Channel. Yeah. But I feel like we were too young to like be like actual fans of his music, huh? yeah we mostly just saw him like on disney channel I, stuff but I, he's an icon yeah he's like a legend mario he's huge wow and he was like a huge you know pop singer like all the teenagers loved him and stuff and it's just like it's so sad like how like did some, like someone else passed away to take off take off he yeah. passed away on november 1st and we actually didn't touch topic on that last week yeah. because we were um Pre-fil- it was pre-filming. pre-filmed so Takeoff and Quavo were there playing dice when an altercation broke out and that's when someone opened fire shooting Takeoff. So what I heard, and then obviously he was pronounced dead like right in the scene. That's so I mean, sad. But what I heard, you know, what we've seen on TikTok and stuff, there was like a little argument that was going on. Yeah, I heard about and that. And Quavo was in the argument. And from what I've seen and heard... Takeoff was like minding his business, kind of minding his business, just behind it, just I know. not trying to fight. And at some point, somebody shot and hit him on accident. That is so fucking sad. Yeah, like it wasn't even meant to go to him. This is why I feel like altercation should be avo- avoided at all costs. Yes, I'm the kind that like if there's gonna be altercation, I'd rather look like a fucking pussy. Yes, 
Like, I don't know you. I don't know what you're capable of. Yes. I tell Brian this all the time because Brian's very, like, ballsy when it comes to stuff. Yeah, he is. He's very, like, you know, he defends himself. And, he defends and people too a lot. Defends people too a lot. Yeah, he's very defensive. He's very, if he doesn't see, if he sees something that he doesn't like, he will be very vocal about it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I have told him, I'm like, you need to, like, chill sometimes. Like, I know you're, like, you know, you're doing something right or you're just defending yourself or whatever it is. But, like, you don't know who it, who's crazy that has, like, a freaking gun on them. That's so scary. Dude. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying Brian's problematic. I'm talking not, about ever. scenarios where, where he's defending somebody. Or he's defending somebody. Or, or he feels someone's being humiliated, so he stands up for or, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or someone's being rude. You know, he's very, like, yeah. you know. And you just never know. Even, like, okay, road rage, right? Mm. That, you know, you've heard a lot of terrible things. Mm-hmm. Like the little boy that had got shot. Like, what he did he out. even have anything to do with it? I People know. are freaking insane. I'm saying. Sometimes it's better to just like, and so, it's so sad because he was minding his business. Too. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I, you oh, want. yeah. And Brian, too, he's very like, you know, someone's trying to cut him off. He's like, nope. He's very like, you know, that energy. I'm oh, like, God. you need to chill. No. I'm like, you need to chill because someday you're going to have someone that has road rage. No. And it's going to do something. No, knock on wood, yeah. Yeah, so where's the damn wood? Damn, we don't, we don't got any wood here, y'all. Well, I'm not just pretending to send this. It's oh, actually, we do. Papa it's just so sad, like, how... It's so tragic how tragedies happen, like, and someone's life has to end over something so... And that's dumb, what we like, were saying, because obviously, like, it's so tragic. Like, obviously, Quavo, his plan was not for things to go down like of that. Course but we were saying, like... How is he going to live after that, knowing that that argument all started? That's so sad. I, I feel for him too on that. Like, Absolutely. Because it's in the heat of the moment. Like, of course, you don't want that to happen. Of course. <sighs> it's so it's like, terrible. It's just so, like, it's crazy how, like, uh, I don't know, like, it's just wild. It's just terrible. Uh, Aaron Carter too. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's crazy how he passed away. Like, what? So sad. And I, I we actually heard, Um, I guess he would go live on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, he would do lives on like TikTok and Instagram because, of course, he's like a producer, songwriter, and stuff. And he's just trying to, you know, still trying to get his music out there. Mm-hmm. And um, people would leave comments on his weight. They would like make fun of him and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, because he was like, you know, I guess he was like getting skinnier and stuff. And people would, you know, start making like assumptions and all that. People and it's so chill. sad. It's so sad because, like, you don't know what he was going through. I feel like people, when it comes to social media, I feel like. It's a it's a train like it's a it's a um, hate train, a what like a hate train a hate train, like I feel like okay it depends there's certain people that literally will just breathe and they'll just get hate, mm-hmm. like we were talking about earlier. Luckily, I feel like honestly, like the people that follow me and Karina, you guys are like truly like for real. If you guys are listening, tuning in, we have the most positive like support system. We do. I do feel like we have a positive. Support I feel system. like I'm so we grateful do for that dude. Super super grateful because. We're not so like we're not really in drama like that and stuff. And I'm so grateful for that. Super grateful for that. There are people that we know, even in the influencer world, they can't even fart because people will be like going the fuck off on no dude. I know. I mean, they can't do nothing. And there are certain celebrities where the same thing, hate train. People just once they see, you know, if you hate comments, they're influenced and they feel like they need to attack. When people forget that these are actual humans behind the screen. That are reading things, these things. God forbid, we don't know what this person's passing was, but God forbid it was something to do with just being overwhelmed with all the hate. Oh I and mean, you God. just never know. So sad, dude. Like, I just feel like people are so insensitive when it comes to hate and just being online. It's like, so they're sad. so ballsy. You forget. And I understand how it could be easy to just kind of like attack someone behind the screen. But think about this person being in your face. Like, I guess I'm trying to put it into perspective for people. Imagine like this person that you're hating on and a million other people are hating on. Mm-hmm. Imagine this person like in person. They're going to ask him for a picture. They're not going to say nothing. No, but imagine a person in person and I'll you see you and you see thousands of people like bashing him, hitting him. Ah, you would go in there and get your hit too. No, I think as a human being, you would sit there and stand there and be like, this is so fucked up. This guy's being yes, torn to shreds. Exactly. Or this person you're doing that exact thing. But with words and it's affecting You're them beating just a as dead much. Horse. It's still affecting them. I don't know. I just people would just seem really brave online, and I it's feel so like sad. I'm just not like for that at all. I'm very like ugh about hate comments. Like this, 
this person, you know, I, I, uh, who knows how much hate this person got. It just makes you think about in general, you know, people are so against bullying, but you're so quick to judge a celebrity online. Yeah. You're against bullying, but there you are doing the exact same thing, cyberbullying. And, and, and then some people will say like, well, because they signed up for it. It's like, so you're putting them on a pedestal in your eyes. You're putting them on a pedestal. And because they're on a pedestal in your eyes, they deserve it. Yeah. That's fucked up too. That part. Like it's fucked up, dude. It's that part, yeah. And yeah. this is just this doesn't just go to like celebrities. I'm talking in about like general. in general, people feel brave online. Cyberbullying is real, and it's just as terrible as bullying somebody in person. Yeah, guys, like it's like, yeah. I feel like all that like online stuff, it's so fucked up. But yeah, both of these deaths obviously were really tragic, and it's just like they were both really young too. I believe actually, takeoff was if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 28. Oh yeah so young so so young mm-hmm. oh my gosh so i saw this um on a more on a more positive note i thought we could end this episode with something really fun yes so i saw on tiktok how uh talia went on a podcast or like a show i don't know I, they come across a lot on tiktok yeah um it's i like, want to watch that show i don't something know what it like is. they have like really unicorn vibes and stuff i need to find out the name but uh, they did a what's in my purse and i was like I myra it. i was like we need to bring back like old youtube and do, a what's, in my purse. do a what's in my purse i don't know because i feel like i think i did i can't remember i feel like what's in my purse the monthly favorites and stuff was the oh, beauty world that was like that. your your that was your beauty world i wasn't in the beauty when world. they used to do swaps oh that's you know what karina that just gave me an idea what do you remember um the swaps you would give each other a box and open yeah, it. Yeah, I did those with We slime. need to do a swap here on a little Christmas Let's episode. Let's do it, yeah. I, th- that was and like... You just get each other your favorites. It's because every YouTube community is different. You were in the beauty world, so all the monthly favorites, the what's in my bag was in. For me, it was like room tour. No, not room tour. Room decor and shit. That was like my... Uh, yeah. My little like so cute. thing of YouTube or whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyways... um we brought our bags <laughs> yes ma'am. and um we're gonna do a what's in my bag mm-hmm. so who wants to start off you want to start off or you go ahead okay i'll start off so this is um my bag slash diaper bag i honestly don't really ever wear bags anymore like unless i'm going to an event and i'm like i want a cute statement mm-hmm. then i'll take a little cute like bag with me but my that everyday really bag <laughs> thanks girl my everyday bag now is a diaper bag mm-hmm. like, and it doesn't look like a diaper bag I, she's so cute she's actually from it had it right here right here um she's actually from isabel grace i got it at the pop-up shop that we went to she gave us yeah she gave us purses she gave she gave me this purse and i was like oh my god queen and it's so convenient it's the perfect size for a diaper bag and i don't have like my own bags now like literally anything i carry has to be big enough to hold my baby stuff in it so I'm excited. So I, I don't know what's in your purse, girl. I literally told Myra, I was like, we need to bring our purses and just show what's in it raw. Period. So one of the first things in my bag is a random, Aww. <laughs> a random little sandal of Mia's in here. <laughs> just one? Uh, yeah, I don't know why the fuck there's only one in here. Oh, it's so cute. This is as raw as it gets. I mean, when I'm about to leave the door, then I check for everything and I'll make sure <laughs> I have like what I need. But this is like what's randomly sitting in my bag so right cute. now. A little souvenir. <laughs> yeah a little keychain oh, gonna... <laughs> that's no. a big ass keychain <laughs> it's a shoe oh i have my vlog camera in here oh of course gotta, um, you know what i usually have mine but i don't do gotta that. get the vlog camera in there always carry it around uh, i have some makeup wipes randomly beauty creation skin shout out to beauty creations i haven't tried them they're good I feel like that it's hard to find good um, makeup wipes because I love like Neutrogena and that's usually all I use. They're actually pretty good. The use beauty code creation Karina. One. Use code Karina. I think that's my code. I'm like, I think that's my code. Oh my God. Fish, this is not sponsored by beauty creations. I have another <laughs> beauty creations thing in here. I have lip a, oils, the girl. lip oils. Period. I love those. Yeah. I have the watermelon lip oil from beauty creations. Love that. I just like popping Those are up. so good. Um, I have another pair of shoes in here, but there's actually a pair okay of mia's shoes in here oh if you know you know there's always random shit in your diaper bag <laughs> like i'm telling you there's almost random ass shit Myra. like i have to check it every time i leave like when i actually have to take it with me i'll check it and i'm like do i have diapers do i have wipes do i have for bottle blah blah blah, blah, blah. but right now it's just random shit mm-hmm. i have another piece of clothing of mia's in here <laughs> it's a random <laughs> the like, little crumbs that fall off of it <laughs> oh, it's all cookies and shit in here girl 
<laughs> but I have a little That's onesie. So cute. A little random Show onesie. them. <laughs> little random onesie of Mia's in here. Oh. A little outfit change. Um. Oh my God, you were asking me for a fucking brush. I knew I had oh, one. Pass it over, Gorge. This is Mia's little brush as well. Oh my God, is it? Yeah, it's Mia's brush. Oh my God, I had one of these in my purse the other day. Maybe it was hers. <laughs> I'm dead. No, I have her, her brush in here because mia's hair is like crazy i always have to be like brushing it i have a random um what is this uh jello shot a glow stick oh. from halloween like, damn girl halloween. Got jello shots up in there. i have random candy in here i'm sure it's from halloween from mia's oh my god there's random ass candy in here oh my god i have crystal light in here of course i love my crystal light i have to drink it it's because i try to get my hydration in you know she's prep i have a uh, random like jewelry in here that i wear and i just throw it in here oh sol mio love that sol mio shout out to sol mio i have a pacifier in here of course because mia loves her pacifiers random stuff like clips ligas like baby ligas wow for mia's hair just in case i have to like pop it up in a bun i have this the one the little vapuru inhalers mm. i love these Mara. they help with anxiety let me see I need to wake up no a seriously bit. this like this will like wake you up like with anxiety like it's like very like it Ooh, helps like that clear, just woke me up right now it helps clear like congestion mm. and i feel like it's just like a little like pick where do you get them cvs and stuff any like extra that ones i could have you can have that one you don't know you don't have another one that i don't you could literally have it i'm telling you girl no it's fine i'll just i have another random uh lip gloss that i got mm. at um i think i got this at burlington i just have a lip gloss in here period and lastly i have some like little uh pamphlet from like a mattress place because i just got a mattress but wow and that's all i have in my bag it's wow. really fucking random dude if this was like my personal bag then it would be different stuff but my personal bag has become my diaper bag so okay and i was gonna ask if it's like the same that's cool but yeah but yeah. that was interesting gorge love your stuff in there <laughs> we love a what's in my purse <laughs> it's so random but I love my bag. Yeah, you guys need to it's check them so out. Cute. They're like um handmade, I believe, huh? They're so cute. Yeah, and it, it fits a lot of stuff in there. It fits, dude. Like, it's not even that huge. It's and not it even fits that so big. Much. It's like the perfect size, and I literally fit all her stuff in here. It carries a lot. Damn. But that's my bag. So this is my bag. Um, she's a little messy girl. She doesn't. Um, the tote bag. Was, yeah, the tote bag. I want to get one of those. I actually recently changed it out because I was using my other one. My other one was like really tiny. This one like actually fits so much stuff in it. It looks little, but it actually fits a lot. It, I like the small bags that you can fit a lot because I had the I had a big tote from like it's like the 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 Everflow or whatever from Louis Vuitton. Mm, it's like huge Everflow. Mm-hmm. I want so that big, one. but carries too much. Your your shoulder will be hurting. I've heard girl. that. Like, it's just better to have something like that that can fit a lot. I actually like this purse a lot. Um, I have had a lot of followers tell me that. Because before it. I purchased it, I, would, I I asked, like, what they thought about it. And a lot of people like it because you, you fit a lot of stuff in it. You can also, like, rock it just, like, you know, like that or, like, on the shoulder. Very cute. You know what? That you know? might work as a diaper bag, huh? No. For I sure. still think it's too little, no? All I need is diapers, wipes, and, like, a bottle and stuff in there. Period. All right, let's jump in. I got a little makeup bag. It's funny because I have a makeup bag, but I also have like random makeup in here, girl. But that's like your like lip gloss and stuff, right? Absolutely. Now, because I thought about this gum I just got today and I was like, Jesus Christ, I need to show Karina. You got to oh. smell it first. Oh. Let me see. <gasps> you it definitely have to have gum. Ice cubes. Grape flavor. Smell I should- it first. Sheesh. Mm. you know what this smells like my crystal light my grape one mm. yeah it does can i taste it can i have one yeah of course spits back in. Like, i put you. it back in anyway didn't I? it's so good i should have some mint or gum that's what i need i never have gum with me mm. so when i saw this that's i just good. got it and then i was like oh my god we're gonna do it with my bag today and that's it's just good it's just funny that i want another one girl you have one and you just popped one in a girl I'll be shooting like three or four at a time really? i don't get how people just chew one in there Oh shit! I don't get it. Okay, we got scent bird. Shout out to scent bird. See, I need to carry that. Um, it's like a little travel size. Love this, and this actually is a Versace bright crystal. Mm. I need to get this in full size. It smells so good, mm. Karina. I need. To, I actually need to get it in full size. It smells delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she smells good. She smells nice. Let's spray some a little bit. She's cute. Okay. <laughs> I got my little vitamin container with no vitamins Bitch, in it. I need that. So I carry my vitamins here. 
I'm up to my last day, clearly. You fill them up every day. I don't really even care anymore about the dates, like, because it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, just open them up. I just open it up. Okay, and boom. I so need that. So there's a random vitamin in here that I need still. And I need to fill it up. But you fill it up every week, obviously. I'm very travel need friendly that. if it's perfectly in my bag. I got it off Amazon. I need to buy that like now. You need it, girl. Let me know if you want it as a Christmas gift. Imagine. Please, actually. I need a vitamin thing. <laughs> I freaking love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing because I'm such a... I have an oxymeter. <laughs> Anxiety queen. <laughs> no, for real. Because <laughs> let me check this shit. <laughs> okay, let me tell you guys. You're like, my chest is feeling funny. <laughs> okay, so I discovered oxymeters when I got COVID. So I don't can think I I've ever it? said this, um, but can I have it? Can I try? Why it? is nothing showing, guys? Am I alive? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay, so I found out about oximeters when I had COVID because I swore that I couldn't breathe, and you know I saw it everywhere to get an oximeter. It reads your oxygen and your your um, what's it called? Your heart, your heart rate, and your, and your oxygen EKG. Levels. I'm just kidding. No, it's not an EKG. The <laughs> fact that I considered buying an EKG, bitch, like <laughs> okay, please, you gotta tell them that real quick. No, I did. Remember, I told them that I really considered it because my anxiety was so bad. I'm like, do I need to buy an EKG? Like, bitch, why? I don't even know how to read them. See, that's like, uh, yeah, that's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but this is enough reassurance. If you can struggle with anxiety, if you feel like you don't, you, you're not breathing right, or your heart rate is like insane, this will reassure you. Right now, my oxygen's at 98. And my heart is beating at 84. Mm -hmm. It's fine, right? Mm -hmm. So we love an oximeter. I'm just saying it helps uh, reassure you. Mm -hmm. We love a driver's license. I also have. Oh, shit. I didn't carry. I don't carry my my passport card. I have a Costco card on board, too. I have Raul carry all those in his in his. um, You never know when you when you have you run to Costco and then you're like. I have it in another purse and you're like, damn yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I always got to carry the Bitch, Costco for card. For real. Um, I, I hate that I don't have a wallet for my cards. I don't either. So I have her all hold them. I got shout out to Antojitos on Wheels. I have a card in here. <laughs> Queen. I don't know if that was. I don't know. I got it from somewhere. Is this card? Mm-hmm. Hey, you never know. People still be wearing masks. Of course. Got to respect. Yeah, I have them in my car. Have a mask in here. Um, sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> my insurance card. Bitch, that shit holds a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my insurance card. I'm kind of like, why am I? I hate that I literally have like my cards everywhere. Like when they ask for my insurance card or like my credit card or anything, I'm like going Dang. through my whole mess. I'm like, girl, is this even necessary? <laughs> oh my god, Eliza Peach. Shout out to Hefty Be Lashes. She gave me this. I like LA Colors lip balm. It smells like mint. Mm-hmm. I think we're saying shout out to like the peach FTB came out with lip balm. I imagine <laughs> I was about to say. I think she does give these out with her oh, like know, extras. raffles. I'm not sure. Like, like extras. extras. And you guys want to know my lip combo today? I have the Gemela Cosmetics lip Always. liner. Mm-hmm. Always. With a Too Faced pout about it. Period. Lipstick. <laughs> per. Got a touch up. A little Lord. touch up curly. Right. <laughs> Link down below. I'm just kidding. Uh, this code my own like why right I don't, I don't think i have a code with two face <laughs> oop <laughs> t i had this lip liner from revlon color stay matte lip crayon i think it's a lipstick but i use it as a lip liner queen she's a queen i got so much shit in here y'all sorry <laughs> you gotta have a freaking liga oh yes oh oh harry <laughs> Oh, full of fucking shit. Awful of lice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Girl. No, awful of hair, queen. Yeah, I, when somebody needs one, you know. Why do I got another Jamela lip liner in here? Hold on. You got a lot of lip liners in there, huh? So I'm just like, I get a little comfortable and I'm like, I have, like I have literally, a lot of them in me and I'm like, um, I have like four palettes upstairs, like for what? Four palettes? I have a few up there. Why do you have four I don't palettes? No, dude. Like, I get the lip liner. It's like, oh. I have like five glasses. Because I've gone through a few, but palette, bitch. I don't know who leaves them up there. I'm like, I don't know who <laughs> Oh my God. Shout out to Pika Pika. Oh, Laura's, shit. Laura's, Laura's, Laura's uh, Manguitos, the dry rub ones. Bitch, I was going the fuck off on them. I think we finished them, but I still have this in here. Is you put, this now you put your lashes on sanit- with them. <laughs> Tweeze my brows. Pop the little lashes on. You know what? 
Bitch, that shit would work good for this. Would work for lashes. Pika pika, mama. If you don't lash a lash, a lash, a lash. I think we're going somewhere, mama. If you don't la- launch a lash collection, imagine <laughs> with some tweezers, girl. Queen. <laughs> oh, I got the Mia lipstick. I mean, like cosmetics. I have a lip oil from Life Glam Queen bouquet, babe. It has like little flowers in it. Queen, literally little petals. My con. She's a queen. I got so much random shit up in here, girl. <laughs> it's okay. Another business card. <laughs> Damn, I want that now. I'm well, like, that should in, be my new in diaper case, bag. In case you got black or blonde hair. Period. You know, she's thinking about both. <laughs> I really, I'm really not thinking about it. I just have two colors, but. Oh, I have my Let's Do Makeup little case without my glasses in there. Oop. I actually really like her collection. I like them too. And I got a pen because you just never know. Bitch, I thought I had a pen on me. Hmm. I thought I had one in here. No, yeah. because I'm really going through my purse right now and I'm thinking like, I didn't know I had all this. Because if you ask me it? for a pen right now, I'd be like, I don't have a pen. <laughs> no, not not yet. Done yet. A little <laughs> jiggy. Oh, jewelry always collects at the bottom, huh? Me too, dude. Every single one of my purses has like random necklaces. And Shout out to Sol Mio because they got, they got me stocked up. This is all like... I have a lot of sold meal and a lot of gold dip, like in all my bags. And then I'm like, oh, those there are my cute earrings. Um, yeah, a lot of cute little spooky necklaces that sold meal gave me. And honestly, just a bunch of trash. <laughs> me, I got some quarters. I never pay with cash. I don't know what the where this came from, but I got some quarters up in here, girl. And honestly, the rest is just dirt. Imagine. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't show you guys all the fucking crumbs in my bag. I like how Karina asked me, like, how does that all fit in your purse? It's all tiny stuff. No, like, my bag too, dude. Like, I didn't empty it for y'all, but damn, the crumbs that would come out this bitch, like... This sheesh. is a real what's in my purse, because I got a lot of random Let's shit. be real, Mara. You've done what's in my purses for YouTube. Keep it 100. Did you ever, like, actually put stuff in there that you were like, this is trendy? Mm. This is going to look cute. You know what? I was really fake when I started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, be real. Like, would you would you alter the shit that was in your bag? I wasn't like, okay, let me reword that. I was very like um different <laughs> when I started my YouTube channel. You so wanted to censor yourself? Is that what you mean? Maybe censor myself and stuff. And when that came, like you just kind of get used to that. And I'm sure I did remove some stuff that were embarrassing, like the trash in like your bag. The trash. It's like when people do house tours, they're not going to show you their mess. Oh, shit. This yeah. is my room. Uh, <laughs> like, it's like oh, clothes no. everywhere and shit. Please. Underwear flipped upside down, flipped inside out. I was even like, mm-hmm. what is the reason? <laughs> oh, <laughs> rolled up in a corner. Period, <laughs> queen. How stupid. But mm. that was our what's in my bag. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm chewing and I'm probably being annoying. But you know what? I thought I thought the same thing. I was like, girl. <laughs> But that was the what's in my bag. I missed like the OG YouTube and stuff. And I was like, we should do that. Like, we should do that swap that you said. Gotta get on that. Let's do that for Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. But anyways, guys, I think that just about wraps up this episode. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) Jude. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.